do it. It has to be done. We're in Arizona for like one hour, so. We are traveling through a pandemic, so we are trying to be very cautious. We're, we're trying to not be reckless, even though you could see the, the whole idea of traveling right now is reckless. Lake Powell, it's quite famous. And this water comes down the Colorado River, therefore from the Rockies, but I think it has a lot of time to cool down by now. It's a national park, so you wanna have uh, your pass prepared. And by the way, visiting national parks is by far the best with the America the Beautiful Pass. We this is our third national park that we're hitting on this trip so far. And like you're saying, it already pays off by the time yeah. we get the third one. Yeah, national parks are $35, the pass is about 80, 85. So on your third one, the pass pays itself off. Mm, pe people are in the water. Yeah. Where we are is exactly on the state line between Utah and Arizona. Right now we're on the Arizona side, but right over there is Utah. So even across the lake, I think it becomes Utah. So both states come here on vacation and both states are really low on water and water bodies that you can swim in and do things in. So this is a huge hotspot for water sports and boating. The banks here are straight up sand from a while ago. It's not like a beach, the entire place is sand. Very cool desert beach experience. It's really your salvation out here in this heat, and it is summer right now. This looks like a literal oasis. It looks heavenly. Yeah, let's go touch it. Cool. Here. Oh, yeah. It's really warm. It looks like all the action here is on the boats because there's barely any commerce on the ground. Commerce is actually up on top of the hill there, over by the the resort so yeah it's all about either being here on the beach and just chilling and swimming or being out in the boat yeah i will totally do a beach day but it's midday and we have no shade at all we're doing this yeah we are let's, hot let's do it it has to be done we're in arizona for like one hour so we'll get some piece of arizona You know when it gets to your tender skin, like the back of the knees, and then further up, it starts getting really cold. And then up your back. It's the easiest way to get there. Yeah, I don't know how far I'm getting, so. Really? Yeah, I'm not going one up all the way. Now. It's weird, it's like warm, and then it's cold, and then it's warm, and then it's cold. Yeah, some water is warm, then others keeps coming in, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Do I drop? I don't yeah. Like dropping, but I will. Because I'm in the desert in a hundred degree heat. <laughs> but it will feel amazing. That's why you do it. <sighs> ah, yes. Yeah. See. Ah. See. Whew. It feels so much better when you get out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So we're kind of interesting in that I am all about water. I love water. Like I'm not afraid of water. Water. Typically, I guess this would be the one time where I'm not afraid, but I'm uncertain about what's in here. But. And then Martin's not as comfortable in the water, but then in the mountain it's the opposite. <laughs> so we both have things that we're more comfortable, or situations that we're more comfortable in. And I guess it works out in that we kind of push each other. And I'm like, yeah, do it here. And then in the mountains it's like, yeah, do it there. So we kind of even each other out that way. We were going to do the desert vacation and stay in uh, Scottsdale and Tucson in really nice resorts. But that all fell through because the pandemic spiked in Arizona in particular. So this is our taste of a desert Arizona oasis and it's super nice honestly. Mm -hmm. we, we would have enjoyed it so we'll try to do this another time. 
this trip has been fun so far because like we, you know, we make bookings that we are pretty much guaranteed, but then there's been little things that we just kind of throw in, like staying overnight at Zion. Like that was a last minute thing, but it worked out. Yeah. Coming here to the lake and actually swimming in it wasn't on the plan, but you know, we did it anyway. So the thing about road trips especially is, you know, leave yourself some time to just do that exploration and look for those little moments that you don't plan that are actually going to end up being really awesome. And because you have your vehicle, you're really flexible. Mm -hmm. You can, and you can cancel things, you can buy extra rooms. It's not all that rigid. I, we, we don't book in advance a year like some people do. But I would say, it, with that said, it depends on where you're going though. Because if you wanted to stay at Zion Lodge, then yeah, it sounds like you need to book like well in advance for that. And if you were here during peak season, maybe it's harder. Maybe we couldn't have gotten a room in Zion. I don't know. So you have to kind of look at the time of year, look at the season, look at what's going on. If and it was a global pandemic or something. If it was a global pandemic, we're far enough away, uh, far enough out from that, that things have kind of come back, but people haven't come back to use those services yet in full. We're so keeping we're, a, we got a sweet spot here. I yeah, think. we're keeping an eye out for World War III and the alien invasion to do something like this again. That's right, that's next time we're, we're gonna go back to Zion. <laughs> <laughs> Can finally do the angels landing or one of those that we never even got close to. That's right. We drove all day through the desert, stopped at Lake Powell, and now we're at a really special place because as long as I walk through this invisible line in the sand right here, I'm in Arizona. And there's the Welcome to Arizona sign right there. But as soon as I turn around this way where we're parked, and you see the big Welcome to Utah sign, and this is exactly where the start of Monument Valley is. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, we were yeah, barely in Arizona, we over to Utah. Yeah, I just changed it as I walked through here. Here it is, Utah, life elevated. It's a really good place to get a feel for the desert right here. It, it's pure desert and dust is getting through the air. You feel the sun burning. It's that feeling that uh, many Hollywood movies try to convey. It's different when you're standing and feeling it yourself though. And out there where there's a truck rolling down is Monument Valley where we'll be heading next and doing a lot of photography. Welcome to San Juan County of Utah, the world's greatest outdoor museum and it's where Utah's canyon country is. So some of the greatest park like canyon lands and arches and so on are there and we'll be visiting them later in our trip. town of Mexican hat with a grand total of 31 people according to the last census. And behind us is the thing that the town is named for which is Mexican hat and, and it's rock. yeah it's a really interesting looking rock actually so that part is cool and it's right outside of Monument Valley so there is a really prime attraction here uh, so what are your impressions of Mexican hat? Well I can only really speak to the scenery because there's just about all there is. Mm -hmm. I don't know where all the 31 people are, but we are staying here, there's a motel. And when you look at the scenery, it might as well be Mars, you know. Elon Musk can come stage the Mars landing here mm -hmm. and claim to be the first person that landed on Mars. 
So another really key thing we forgot to say earlier is that this whole area is really close to the Navajo Indian Reservation and they've had a pretty big outbreak of COVID lately. <laughs> so it makes us a little bit nervous about going places and we're currently trying to find food. So we're gonna try this town called Bluff. Uh, we don't think there's been a big outbreak there, but even so, I think we're just going to try to get either fast food or just something that we're not going to sit down in a restaurant, we're just going to try to make it fast. Yeah, so in fact, the Navajo Nation has the most of the virus per capita in the entire USA. That's why it's a small amount of population with a lot of cases for, for the size of it. And that means that the more you interact in those areas, the risk is very high that way. So. Because of that, we're on the edge of the Navajo Nation that has so many cases, we're trying to be strategic. And we did see some activity in the motel that makes us a bit nervous. Yeah, so the motel room is actually quite nice. Uh, they've actually done it really well. The bathroom even looked like brand new and everything. But still, I have some Clorox. Got one of the last Cloroxes from Safeway before we left. And so I went through the room and made sure that we got like the doorknobs and you know, like the toilet, just things that we know that we're gonna touch just in case, because yeah, the last thing we wanna do is get sick here and ruin the rest of our trip. That scene today is COVID Chronicles. We are traveling through a pandemic, so we are trying to be very cautious. We're, we're trying to not be reckless, even though you could see the, the whole idea of traveling right now is reckless. Um, our state or city itself is very affected, so it's no different, but we have to be aware of each zone we go into and take the proper measures each place. Yeah, so what we do or the precautions we take, it's based on each different location. And as much as possible, we're trying to Google these spot, just be like, has there been any news lately? So yeah, it's like if you are going to travel right now or doing any kind of, you know, pandemic of any sort, then you just want to double check each location that you're going to go to and make sure that nothing bad's going to happen. Oh, for looting and vandalism. Yeah, so we're in the Wild West about as well. This is Gets and they still have the whole wanted reward thing. And it's for looting, vandalism and disturbing human remains. So someone's digging up graves. Mexican hat is where we're staying down there. Down here is the Navajo Nation, if you see the sign. Well, we took some food to go, we drove like 30 miles to get it back and forth and then we're now enjoying dinner in Monument Valley at sunset. That's a real treat. So we stopped by Bluff and it was actually a super cute looking uh, place to get food. So I don't even know, it looks like a sandwich mm -hmm. and fries. Mm -hmm. Nice. And so it is 8.15 p.m. sunset. It's actually already starting, but officially sunset will be around 8.50, so we figured might as well just camp out here, watch the sunset, do a time lapse. I'm about to set up the GoPro to do a time lapse, and then we'll also maybe stick around and shoot some night photos because around 10 p.m. should be pretty pitch black dark, and this should be a really great spot for Milky Way because Milky Way is still here, and I think getting these rocks uh, would be a really great subject. So we'll see what happens. Well, here it is, Colorado. Funny story, when I got pulled over, I did not have a driver's license. All right, this is how you do a Wild West pandemic road trip in style. We've been enjoying Durango, Colorado for a few hours already, and we're really impressed uh, in all ways. It actually is a very, very pleasant place. 